we are starting a little late this morning. Well, at least Duke is. He didn't get up before 8.30 this morning. That's the first time he's ever slept late. I don't know what he did last night, considering it was Friday. Who knows, knowing him. Probably running around the house chasing the squirrels in the roof again. But I didn't hear anything. I slept through the whole thing. I'm surprised Duke woke up late. He woke up late, he had breakfast, and he uh, went back to sleep kind of fast. He normally does take a nap after he sleeps. I mean, that's one thing. He'll sleep, he'll get up, eat breakfast, go do his business, come back in, and then go right back to sleep. Duke must have had a rough night. He looks so tired. That's what I'm beginning to think. I don't think he slept last night. Me, I don't know. I was sleeping. Usually we get we end up with uh, squirrels in our roof, and he chases. He likes to run around the house chasing them. Took him forever to wake up just to go to, the, to go potty. He had breakfast at least, but he usually does have a nap after breakfast though. So there's a couple of little females in the neighborhood. Uh, one of them is six months old, so she's around that age where she'll start going into heat. And if she is, then he notices it. They actually keep her in the house, but they let her out every once in a while to go potty. So when she's outside, he must smell her. I think Duke knows he 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 starts sniffing. He can smell it from from inside the house. He'll start to sniff and he'll start to kind of whimper a little bit. And I'm like, no, you can't go meet their dog. They don't want puppies. And then she's just six months old anyway. So they're waiting for after her first heat to have her fixed. So it's not like it would do him any, any favors anyway. And six months old having puppies? Uh-uh, no. I don't think anybody wants that situation at all. So they're going to have her fixed at six months old. They have another one who's a year that lives across the street. She's she's a big. She looks like a boxer. I don't know what kind of dog she is, but she has like boxer in her for sure. But she is actually, how do you say, promised, so to speak, to another ma male dog that's the same color as her. I guess you could say that because she's one. They're kind of waiting for her to reach like one, like one and a half, two years old, maybe get a little older before they they meet. Well, they've met, but you know. You, you get the point. So I guess they want puppies out of her. I don't know why. To me, she's more boxer than, uh, she's a mix. And then we have a neighbor who has a 10-year-old little pug that lives next door. His, the little pug is so adorable, but doesn't like Duke at all. I don't know why. Duke never did him anything. I brought Duke to the fence to meet him. So we have another fence friend. And Duke is doing his whining and doing his whining and wanting to make friends. And this little dog backing up, backing up, not understanding what Duke is doing. And it's really awkward. So that that little dog does not like Duke. It's not like Duke's not a likable little dog. It's just that's how he greets other dogs. He starts whining and crying as loud as he can. It's actually pretty sad, though, because Duke wants to make a friend so bad. And the other dogs in the neighborhood are so big. And the ones that are small... They're smaller compared to him, so he's big compared to them. So they don't like that, and it's just a mess. So he just sticks around his mama and just plays with his toys and digs holes. He loves digging holes. That's one thing he likes to do. He loves to dig holes. But the only problem is we can only let him dig a hole when it's on his bath day. That's about the only time I let him dig holes. His reaction to other male dogs, unbelievably, is the strangest thing I've ever seen. So I'm kind of thinking he... Probably won't do well with a with a female. It is not going to end well. So he's going to accidentally do something that's going to aggravate the the female. So yeah, that's yeah, probably not going to happen. I hadn't gotten Duke fixed. I had wanted him to have puppies. It would have been nice though to be able to carry on a little bit of Duke and another dog. They have a little piece of Duke still running around and barking. 